this environment, we have variations pretty built. So we just as a political amount, political amounts, we change the variations. And if we zoom out very, very quickly, you'll notice we literally capture a physical environment. And it's kind of mapped on this uh, donut-shaped world. And that's kind of the power of this technology. We can actually go out and capture these physical worlds using what's called a sphere on camera. And obviously the sphere on suggesting a sphere to capture the environment. And we map it on these, uh, these torus kind of shapes, these donut shapes, and then when we actually move into the space, you can see it gives you this very kind of totally immersive world. Okay, let's very quickly move over to the right-hand channel. And same product, only we want to show you some of the quality of the interiors that we can generate. And again, notice the pump mapping of the actual perforation on the leathers, the actual, uh, the actual grain of the leather. And again, it's almost lossless. We can actually zoom right up into the right up into the surfaces. You can see that little that little metal piece is actually kind of a hand hammered. It's got a hand hammered kind of uh, surface to it. You can actually see the grain of the wood on the center stack. So the fidelity of this kind of information is phenomenal. So we can actually use this for surface verification. We can actually look at craftsmanship conditions of how panels come together. What are the margins look like? This is the kind of it's the kind of technology that really saves a lot of money. We can remove a lot of our physical properties out of the loop and capture and catch a lot of these 